Welcome, Cancer, and thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate all the newcomers. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. So, Cancer, this is going to be a collective reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And this will be for the energies from February 12th through the 20th of 2021. Mercury is retrograde, and we're welcoming in February. I'm doing this reading on February 1st. So we're going to see what we have for my Cancer Scorpio. I'm, I keep saying Cancer Scorpio. So Cancer, you could be connecting with a Scorpio. <clears throat> I keep hearing it through my reading and my shuffles. This is going to be a collective reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Show us what we need to see. One card for the immediate past. One for the present energies. And one for the near future. Let's see what we have. Okay, and this is from the Enchanted Tarot, and this is by Amy Zerner, this deck. Let's see. Happy Valentine's Day. When you see this reading, we will be doing Valentine's Day readings in this energy here. Okay, let's see what we got, Cancer. What's one card for the immediate past? One card. Immediate past is Seven of Pentacles, okay? This is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You could have these signs in your chart or your person could be. I feel in the past here, there was something here that you've invested time in. And you've been doing a lot of analyzing here. There's a lot of thinking of where the energy is going here. I feel with the Seven of Pentacles energy. This could be like what you were invested in. This is also waiting for something to come in here. Could have to do with finances. I feel presently you're at the Prince of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And you could be dealing with someone who is an air sign here. And Prince of Swords is movement quickly here. Is what I feel presently here. You could be traveling or someone could be traveling to you here. With the Prince of Swords. This is letting me know there's an energy here of going very quickly. There's an energy here of taking action. It could also be an energy here of reckless, not thinking before you go forward. Now, Mercury retrograde brings back people from the past cancer. So this can mean a message is coming to you quickly here. And I see the way that the cards are looking. Yeah, and I see the judgment card at the bottom here. There looks like someone is coming in here, okay? That you already know or someone here that's coming in quickly here to give you a message you don't expect it you don't see it coming here because i see your back is turned here okay i feel with the judgment this could be someone from your past here this could be a judgment call where something's coming back around here and let's see so many cards came out but we're going to keep the will of fortune and this is what showed itself this is sagittarius cancer this is also ruled by Jupiter here. This is letting me know that in the near future, someone could be coming in here for a second chance. Jupiter brings back things from the past also here. <clears throat> and Mercury, pardon me for my voice. We're having some chilly weather here in Las Vegas. And I just need to get some hot tea, okay? I feel with the number 10, Will of Fortune, this is completing a cycle. 10 is a completion and a cycle here. But it could bring in a whole turning point for you, Cancer. Something here that's bringing in expansion and growth. And with the Seven of Pentacles, this is something you've been invested in. So you could be investing in a relationship, a partnership, or a business here. And in the near future here, this is opportunity that brings in good luck, good karma here. Brings in an energy here of destiny. Destiny is coming in here. The cards also that showed itself is Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the World. So we're going to take these cards because they did show themselves to me. This is an energy here of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer. And Seven of Wands is, there's, a, there's an energy here of a challenge, a competition around you here. I feel that you've ascended, Cancer, to a higher level now. And there could be people around you in your community, your family here that don't think the same way that you used to anymore. <clears throat> There's an energy of defending yourself, having to defend yourself, having to put up your guard here, because it feels like there's an energy of competition. 
Now, I see the Eight of Wands here, which is letting me know this is all about your spiritual willpower, Cancer. This is you pushing forward here, having that spiritual willpower to take action. So an energy is coming to you here that's filling you up with, with strength and willpower to move forward on this Eight of Wands, taking action. This could mean traveling, but it's creating movement, swift movement, bringing in a change here. Something suddenly, I feel communication that comes in here and there's an energy here of taking action on an opportunity. Now with the world card, there is a completion in your life here. There is something that you have finished, something that's very positive. A lot of travel here, I see. <clears throat> you could be someone here that's doing short distance travel here. With the world card, it's a completion and a cycle for you, Cancer. You are headed in a new phase that brings in a turning point here. You're ready to end something, I feel, in, in, in the energy here. But I feel that a whole new world is opening up to you here. Especially with the energies that I have with Jupiter here, Saturn. Okay, Mercury. Now we have a whole full house, this reading energy in Aquarius. We are in Aquarius season right now. Aquarius has six planets in Aquarius, pushing us forward here in the directions, aligning us in for growth and expansion with blessings. I am looking at the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. This is letting me know this is something here that inspires you, Cancer. A new beginning here. Something that you're very passionate about. Something that you're very creative about. A new beginning. Something that has potential here is what I'm feeling. And I feel you're aligned to the ethers here. The universe is guiding you here, is what I feel. I feel a very favored outcome for you in the month of February here. I'm also feeling speed, like an energy here of going quick, swift action that brings in a turning point for you here. <clears throat> so let's put these cards over here. And let's get some tarot. And in the tarot, we're going to focus on your energy where you are right now overall. What is the situation for my cancers? What is in the near future? What could be the challenge? So I feel the moon card. And we're doing this reading on Monday where it is ruled by the moon. Monday moon here. You are in your element right now. You're feeling very intuitive at this time with the moon card here. You could be feeling an anxious energy here. This also represents Pisces, so I've been, I've, been, I've been feeling that there could be a water sign of significance, but Cancer, I feel that there's something here within your subconscious that you could be having anxiety, doubt, or fearing something here. I feel that there's something here that you feel is hidden. Something is not out in the surface yet is what I feel. Ace of Pentacles. You could be doubting the investment that you're investing in here. Don't doubt it. There's an energy here of trust your intuition. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning is coming in here. This is an offer that comes in. It's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A new opportunity, a manifestation. Something that's bringing in long-term prosperity and success. And there's the Seven of Wands. It wants to come out. This is where you're at now, the situation, Cancer. And I feel that there's an energy here that you're feeling very defensive about. I feel you could have blocked somebody here online or blocked their phone number here. I feel the energy here of Five of Pentacles. I feel someone here is feeling very left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Someone here could be having a lot of insecurities. Someone here could be frustrated also. There's an energy of feeling isolated and energy of financial loss is what I'm feeling. Now this could be your partner's energy or your energy. We also have cross watcher energy here. So you could reverse the rose cancer where you need it. Let's see. This won't be for all my cancerians out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind cancer. What's in the near future for my cancerians? Yeah, the ace of wands. Definitely. A very passionate, intimate new beginning here. Ace of Wands could be a new offer here. Someone here that's coming in, I feel, where you're in your thoughts now and you have a lot of creation. This is filling you with inspiration here, Cancer. This could be a friend with benefits also here with the Ace of Wands. 
and we'll dive deeper. Let's see what the obstacle or the challenge is the Queen of Swords energy, okay? <clears throat> Queen of Swords is the challenge here. The challenge is with the Queen of Swords, it's a very cold energy. And I also see the Page of Swords. So we have an energy also where someone here could be younger than you, a younger air sign cancer. There could be someone here that's spying on you or stalking you at this time. Someone here, spirit saying, that's very curious about you. I also have an energy where someone could be taking a higher education. Someone could be starting classes. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome for my Cancerian? Two cards came out. Three of Cups and the Two of Wands. Okay, let's get one for the overall energy. One for the... Ooh. Lots of cards wanted to come out, Cancer. Okay. And we got the Queen of Wands. Lots of Sagittarius with the Will of Fortune. Five of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Swords and King of Swords. Okay. So, let's make room for these cards that wanted to come out. All right, Cancer. So what I feel is that you're someone here, Cancer, that could have fire in your chart. You could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart. I feel that with the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Wands energy here, you're someone here that could be, with the Queen of Swords, you could be someone here that is that is dealing with a divorce. You're someone who was divorced. You're someone here who's a mature individual, you could be a mother energy, is what I'm feeling for some of you. And with the Queen of Swords, this is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. This is someone here who is feeling very confident, very independent energy, someone here who's in their power, someone who's determined here. Queen of Swords been through a lot in her past here. This is someone here who has overcome a heartache energy with the Queen of Swords. And this is what the challenge is. Okay, so I feel this was the advice. Let's move these cards around a little bit because you had a lot of cards here. <clears throat> I feel in the past, for some of you Cancerians here, there was, a, there was a decision. Someone here had choices. There was competition here is what I feel. I feel that you had a very intimate connection with that Ace of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This was a very fiery energy here. You're someone here who could be an empath. You could be very psychic at this time, very highly intuitive at this time. Queen of Wands is someone here who's determined, someone who's taking action. Someone could be opening their own business here. Putting the work into their selves is what I feel. I feel with the Two of Wands coming into the Three of Cups as your outcome, okay, this is letting me know Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which your en energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. There's an energy here of things are starting to take shape here, Cancer. With the Two of Wands, this is an energy here of future planning, making decisions, making progress in a situation. You could be working online here, or you could be dating someone who's online, networking. This is all about social media this is all about your community friends around you three of cups this is starting to be very creative there's an energy here of celebration here with the two of wands i feel that in an energy with the two of wands here you could be leaving something here in the past and moving forward now with the world it being in your hand you finished a cycle here is what i feel i feel there's still someone here in your energy field here from your past here and I feel this is where the challenge is with the Queen of Swords energy here. There's an energy where you're not trusting someone here. Now, this could mean you could have someone here that has air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This King of Swords could be someone here who's an intellectual, someone that's a writer, a philosopher, someone that could also work in um, a police department, someone here that could be in an army, in a military, king of swords. I feel also the energy here that's matching is there's two people here is what I feel that don't trust each other. I feel that there's communication that's needed. I feel that there was no communication here in the past, but I feel that this is two people that are mentally sharp here, thinking straight. 
making progress, making things happen to rebuild a situation is what I'm feeling. But I feel with the Seven of Swords, there's an energy here of intuitively what you're feeling is you're trusting, you're, you're trusting in your intuition and you feel something here is going on that's sneaky. Something behind the scenes is what you're feeling, Cancer. I feel with the will coming in and the Three of Pentacles energy here and the Five of Wands coming out, this is letting me know that there could be friends around you or your person. This is people in your community with the Five of Wands here. There's an energy of having a competition. So you could be in a competitive market here with your pentacles, with, with your career, where you're focused, your energy here. But it's letting me know that you are collaborating with others here. Three of pentacles with the five of wands is letting me know there could be a sneaky behavior where others are jealous. There's an energy here with the five of wands where people could be jealous, there's strife, there's tension, there's conflict that's going on here. It's petty arguments is what I'm feeling. But I feel an energy of focusing your energy here on your work at this time is where Jupiter's coming in to say cancer, expansion and growth are yours here. This is bringing in good luck. It's bringing in a date with destiny here. Bringing in expansion and growth, I feel. Life changes here in an area of your work here. I feel that someone here that you have in your past connection also wants to put the work into a relationship with the Three of Pentacles. And this is where things begin to take shape here. I feel that there's an energy also. Let's see. Okay. So Cancer. For my Cancer feminine energy out there. There's an energy here of you very confident. You're feeling whole and complete by yourself here. You're feeling very capable here to start a new beginning because now there's an energy here where you've regained your mojo. You have a fire energy with you with that Ace of Wands and you're wanting a new beginning here. You're being open here, I feel, to new relationships and, and you're a magnet here. You're someone who's very attractive is what I feel, Cancer. Okay, and that's for some of my Cancers that are single. For my cancer males out there, the masculine energy with the king of swords, I feel you have options, cancerian. So for my males, I feel that you have a choice here between two people. I feel on that there is competition. Now this could be someone that's in your energy field here. This could be an energy here where you could have an energy with an ex-wife or a wifey figure, someone that you had a past with, and this is someone that's new. So this could be like the wifey or the mistress energy for me, for the male Cancerians out there. I feel that there's something here that's creating a lot of conflict and energy here, a lot, of, a lot of not trusting energy. Someone here that could have a past history here, I feel, where there was a karmic cycle in the past. I feel the tower card is at the bottom here. I feel that there was a breakup or a separation here. Something that you are healing over, Cancer, with the Four of Swords here. This could have involved the Ten of Cups, a family situation here. So what I'm feeling is there's an energy here of having a breakup in a home or recovering from this home. And Mercury retrograde coming into this reading is letting me know. It's like, what can you heal? It's like taking time out to heal because I feel a restoration on a family with the Ten of Cups. There's someone here that sees you as happily ever after. The Seven of Pentacles, it's taking me back to with the Will of Fortune, a turning of events, okay, that brings in success and happiness to our home is what I feel. I feel the universe is coming in this reading here to bring to light here, subconsciously, Cancer, an area where you feel anxious or you have anxiety over someone here that could be from your past, and there could also be a new a new offer that's coming in here. Or this could be a current relationship for you with that Ace of Wands. Currently, you could be in a relationship where you're meeting a new partner here, is what I feel. So for some of you, now let's clarify some of these cards that we have here. I feel the will is turning now in your favor, Cancer, to put the work into a relationship. Yeah. 
The Nine of Wands is clarifying the moon. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and the King of Wands. So now we have three kings on the table here. We have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. For my male Cancerians out there, okay, you could be someone here that's not yet making things set in stone. There's nothing set in stone here, and I just saw 2020. I feel that with the King of Pentacles not here, this is not ready to offer a commitment. This is having anxiety, okay, over someone here, Cancer, that you could have had a connection with that was very intimate with the Ace of Wands. I feel that between the Nine of Wands energy here, your person or you could have felt very wounded. There's an energy here of someone here feeling left out in a cold, feeling uh, a wounded energy. I'm also feeling an energy of separation here. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords is the Seven of Swords. There's an energy here, I feel. Now there's the Pisces energy with the Seven of Swords. You could have been dating someone here that could have been a Pisces or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius is what I'm feeling. I feel that there's an energy where you don't trust this person. I feel that there's a stagnant energy here. Someone here not, was not willing to make a sacrifice. Someone needed to gain a new perspective. There was a sneaky behavior is what I feel that was going on here. It's an energy that was stagnant, was not moving forward here. Okay, let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. So a message coming in that brings a tower moment. Okay, let's get one more card. I feel this is a message that's coming in that's lighthearted. Now there's the King of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer. You have King of Pentacles to the Page of Cups to the Tower. Now, for Cancerians who don't have options and you're dealing with one person here, there was someone here that had to master their emotions. There's someone here that had to go through a change is what I'm feeling. I feel the Tower energy clarifying the Queen of Wands is letting me know something here comes in that suddenly. This can be a shake-up. There's an offer that's coming in from this King of Pentacles here with the Page of Cups. It's like this King of Pentacles is looking at you, okay, Cancer, and could see that you're ready to move on. This could be someone here that you had a partnership with or this person here could have a partnership. They could be someone's mother or father energy. So someone here could be a parent or coming from a connection. This is someone here that sees you as very attractive, very single, Someone that they see is turning their head. Do you see how that king is looking at you while you turn your head and walk away? And that's when the tower energy comes in. This is where the universe is pushing this, per this person forward here to bring in a shift, to make a change here is what I'm feeling. And I feel something suddenly comes in here where you get a message, Cancer. Could be from a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And this is someone here that wants to put the work in. Someone that wants to bring in a commitment. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords? King of Swords is the Ten of Cups energy here. Clarify the King of Swords, please, for my Cancer. Nine of Swords. Page of Swords. Okay. There's someone here, Cancer, that you could have ended a relationship with. You could have moved on Six of Swords. And this is where the healing began. I felt with the Ten of Cups, there was someone here that you could have seen in the past as happily ever after. But I felt that this person here created an energy with the Nine of Swords that bring in a lot of anxious, sleepless nights. The Page of Swords is letting me know there was someone here that could have been acting very immature with the King of Swords. There's someone here that I feel could be spying on you. They could be looking in on you, Cancer, here. And with the Ten of Cups, this person here could have seen you as Ten of Cups at one time, seeing happily ever after. With the Six of Swords, I feel that you moved on and you moved away from someone here that could have had Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart here. 
I feel there's someone here that you did not trust with the Seven of Swords. And it could be this King of Swords energy that you did not trust. Okay. Let's find out what the Wheel of Fortune is. The World card. This is where you finish a cycle or a chapter. Now, Cancer, this is for the work that you put in yourself here because you are the magician. This is an energy here of Gemini or Virgo. This is you manifesting now a new beginning. You're doing the law of affirmation. You're doing the self-work on yourself. You're knowing your worth and your values now. And I feel that the energy here is that you have everything within you now to create abundance in your life and great success with the will of fortune, clarifying Sagittarius energy. You're someone here who is now single. You're someone here, or I feel that there's an energy, your person could be single. Someone that you finished a cycle and a chapter with, okay? And this is someone that's coming in here that was destined for you, Cancer, is what I feel. I feel this person wants to put the work into this relationship. Let's see one more. Now, I just felt the card turn over. Yeah, there it is. This is your soulmate. I feel you're moving towards a soulmate. Someone here that was destined for you. Okay. I feel this could be either reconciliation or this could be starting a new partnership. Someone here that's coming in as the two of cups to the magician to the world card. And this is starting a new cycle off. Something that's new. It's very positive with the world card. It's a completion. This is also with the, with the will of fortune letting me know to the world card. This is clearing of karma here and this is where things start to take shape with the three of cups energy here this can also be a reconciliation that's coming in a second chance building on a partnership is what i feel let me clarify this king of pentacles yeah king of pentacles is the seven of pentacles this is someone here that was analyzing the King of Pentacles doesn't take risk or chance here. King of Pentacles is someone here who who invests, who, who puts in the effort, who puts in the work, who puts in the time. This is someone here that wants to have initial fulfillment with you. Someone that wants to collaborate. Someone that wants to learn and move forward here in an energy is what I feel. Now this could be a partner. This could be an ex, someone that you were married to, Cancer, someone that you were in a commitment with, or someone here that's offering commitment with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Could also have Scorpio energy here. Now, you could have had an ending with this person. There could have been an ending with this person, something that came in that's bringing in a change now. This is letting me know you went through a transformation here. This is like the phoenix rising here with the Scorpio energy with the death card brings in new beginnings. It brings in a transformative energy here. This is a transition. This is leaving the old past way of thinking behind and evolving, which brings in a rebirth here. Yeah, and there's your reward. There's your victory, six of wands. Six of wands is coming in after a war here. So I feel that you've been through a war in a relationship. This is someone that you've known for quite some time here. I feel someone's coming in that wants to restore, rebuild during Mercury retrograde here with you, Cancer. This is someone here that sees victory with you is what I feel. Okay. Someone here that could have an Ace of Wands. Now, this could be your Ace of Wands. This could be someone in the past that you had a friendship with, Cancer, that you had a relationship with, a very intimate connection. And I feel that Ace of Wands is starting a new beginning here. Someone is, is coming in after, after, let's clarify this Three of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Emperor. And the Shadow Side. Okay. Now, with this Emperor energy, this is Aries energy. This is someone here who faced the shadow side, Cancer. This is someone here who you could have children with is what I'm feeling. They're looking at the energy here with the Three of Cups is how to bring back um, reconciliation where things can start to take shape. The Emperor is all about, if there's anyone that could rebuild the structure, it's the Emperor here. This is a solid, 
foundation, wanting to create a solid foundation, a solid structure. This is someone that's very wise. It's a father figure here. I feel, I feel with the Three of Cups, there's someone here that there could have been competition here. There could have been, I'm not saying a third party situation will clarify the Seven of Swords here. But I feel that they see the sun with you. This is someone here who's very positive about you, Cancer. Someone here that has the ultimate love for you with the sun card. This is bringing in illumination here is what I feel. I feel that it's headed towards success where you're shining, Cancer, is what I feel. Let's see, why was the Seven of Swords here twice? World card. Whatever this was that was going on, whatever sneaky behavior, it's now over and done with the Seven of Swords. This is letting me know. Let's see. Yeah. And the full card. Someone here. Let's see. With Aries energy. On. One more. Okay. Six of Cups. And two of Swords at the bottom. Someone here could have been at a, at a choice a crossroads having to make a choice here with the two of swords not seeing eye to eye not seeing clearly but needing to trust their intuition with the two of swords it was a lot of overthinking a lot of stalemate a lot of blocked emotions here i feel this energy here you do have a past connection to cancer there's someone here that could have had sagittarius in their chart with the seven of swords but this six of cups is water it's your energy this is someone here that was in your past. I feel that you didn't feel trustworthy. This is someone here that you did, that wanted, that was thinking of a reconciliation energy. And I feel it's coming to the King of Swords. So I feel that someone here is where you're, you're taking the leap and you're moving forward. You're starting a new beginning here off is what I feel. And I feel the will here is that you're moving towards something here that brings in reconciliation. I feel that you're letting go of one person here with the two of wands. Okay, this could be a past person and you're moving towards a new beginning here with an ace of wands is what I'm feeling here, Cancer. Especially with the will here. Let's get a romance angel for my Cancerians. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So now with the moon card being here, and it's saying stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you in romance, Cancer. Coming out at the same time as paying attention to the red flags here. This is letting me know that negative thoughts can be very self-sabotaging. This is feeling hopeless, feeling, feeling closed off. Now this could be your person's energy or yours. This could fill, be filled with assumptions, expectations. It could be a stuck energy. This is a heavy energy here that I feel with the moon card. And it's like a choice that needed to be made. You could have had choices here, Cancer. And there's an energy here of you defending yourself here. Feeling very anxious and feeling doubt. Feeling a fear here of not knowing which opportunity or choice here to take place here. I feel that offers that is what you had. I feel someone here is coming in for reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life here. And I feel that you were in between connections here. Wait, hang on, that's too many cards. There was someone that was still in your energy. Not stealing or robbing. I mean, someone was still in your energetic field where you were picking up on an energy of someone here. Okay. And it says, let your friends help you. Ask for support from others. Yeah, listening to your friends, helping them guide you through. I feel here. One more card, one more card. Yes, release your ex. Okay. So, Cancer, you're releasing an ex. This is not meaning that... I feel this is an ex from your past that you knew for a while. This could be an old friend, an old lover. And I feel by releasing your ex that the time has come to clear your energy. You are definitely releasing someone here. Because you're moving into reconciliation. Now, this could be a renewal with someone also here. 
This is saying new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And this is what I feel. I feel that this Ace of Wands is someone that you had an intimate connection with. Someone here that loves you. There's a lot of love and disconnection here. And I feel that this is where you're willing to work on, on a commitment here. So I feel that February is bringing in a reconciliation, a renewal or a new love offer is what I feel that's coming in for you. So Cancer, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. I'm sending you all tons of positive energy and love and light. Take that, take that. And we'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, Cancer. Love you. Bye.